So the Humanware Explore 8 and the Rehan Lucky 5 are two of the popular versions of the uh, digital magnifiers, the portable digital magnifiers that are available. Both of them are very good examples, actually, of what a digital magnifier can do. So we're going to run through the features of both of these magnifiers. We're going to go through them fairly quickly here, just because what we want really to, to do is give a sense of what the digital magnifiers in general can do. These particular ones have their own design features that can make them more suitable for particular environments. Um, so we'll bear that in mind as we're going through this as well. One of them being the, the size of the two devices are clearly quite different as well. Um, so they can, that can have their own uh, advantages or disadvantages. But we're just going to run through the main functions quite quickly. Okay, so let's see what the Lucky 5 can do. So we tilt it forward, we turn on the power the very top of the device, you get a confirmation tone there that it's starting up. Now, I've got a book ready here that we can check this out with. And uh, just because of the angle of the camera that I've got at the moment, I'm going to tilt it up a little bit. But you can see that I can leave it on the stand if I want. And actually looking straight onto that is uh, a very clear, or uh, the uh, sheen that you see on the screen at the moment wouldn't be there. So... I'm going to tilt it forward so that we can actually see it properly. It is still blurred at the moment. So if we want to make sure that it's properly focused, we just tap on the middle of the screen. That gives us a nice sharp image. And actually, this is a very good image because as you look down through the color representation as well, how sharp the images are, they're really good. So we can see that nice and clearly. But the text as well is nice and clear. It might not be big enough for you, though. It might be... Uh, the colour representation isn't very good at the moment for your particular eye condition. So what can we do about that? Well, as we said earlier, we don't have um, physical buttons on the front of this device to be able to control magnification or the colour display. But we can do it via the touch screen. Now, a lot of people are kind of quite worried about having a touch screen because they're worried that they won't know exactly where to touch on the screen to control different elements of the device. Well, there's not too many controls on a device like this anyway, but it, it's actually quite useful that the, the uh, controls are just separated out really in regions of the screen. So, for example, if I want to magnify what's on the screen at the moment, I can go to either the very left or the very right of the screen and swipe up or down. So I'll just do that here. I'm going to swipe up. I can do that slowly or quickly. Swipe up again. And we can see that it magnifies in, swipe down, and it magnifies out. So I can do that on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side of the screen. And that will work nice and easily. So I'm going to leave it there, a kind of a middle setting of magnification. Um, and that will do us for demonstration purposes at the moment. But what about if uh, it's actually displaying in the right magnification level, but the colours aren't the right colours for whatever our eye condition is. Well, we can do a similar control, so swiping up or swiping down, but we do this in the middle of the screen. And this will change the colour display settings. So at the moment, as we said, we're in the, the colour mode. So we've got uh, all our colours are displaying properly. If I swipe all the way from the top to the bottom, it goes into kind of a grayscale mode. Again, let's just tilt this so that you can see it properly. That's in a grayscale mode. It's just taking the colour out of it, really. Um, but if we want to go to the high contrast modes, we go again. So now we're into the white on black high contrast mode. And we can keep going through. If I keep swiping all the way from the top of the screen to the bottom, you get all these different modes, high contrast modes. Uh, black and red, for example, there. Uh, inverted, you can have your um, yellow and, and black, you can have your blue and yellow, etc, etc, and you can invert all of these. So that just moves on a kind of a, a rotation. So if I keep going down, I'll eventually get to the setting that we started on, our colour setting that we started on. But of course, if you have just gone past the one that you wanted, Let's say we wanted white text on black background and we've just gone past it accidentally. We can swipe up from the bottom 
to the top instead, and that goes back to the last one. So that's the main functions of the Lucky 5 that you will have probably in common with an awful lot of the the uh, different devices. Now, there are other settings on here which are very useful um, and they can help us when we're um, trying to get the most out of the device. We're not going to go into each of those, but just as a very quick thing, let's just tap on the bottom here and hold for a couple of seconds. We can change our brightness settings here. There's a button that is on, again, a, a rotation here, five different brightness levels that we can set to our liking. We can turn on um, reading lines, which can help us sometimes just to stay uh, on the right track when we're reading. Um, and that can be either horizontal or vertical. So again, that's, uh, that's set up there so that we can turn that on. Let's just turn those off again. And we can turn tones on and off as well. We can get into different settings uh, in the settings menu as well, uh, that can just maybe reduce the amount of options that there are for the the uh, display colors, which can be quite useful if you don't want to go through a whole list of them when you only use two or three. So that can be set. And we can also um, make a couple of other changes from, from that menu as well. One other thing that we mentioned already, but we haven't demonstrated here, just the same button at the top of the device that we use to turn on and off the, the device, we can use just to capture or to freeze uh, an image. So instead of it being live, let's just press this once and then I can move the book out of the way and it's actually got a uh, captured image here, which I can still zoom in and zoom out of. And I can still, um, once we have zoomed out, we can still change the, the uh, display settings um, for that as well, the color display settings. So we can move through the color display settings there. Um, so that's the uh, freeze option or the freeze um, function. So let's just finish up. We'll um, do what we mentioned earlier, but instead of just pressing once now to power it off, we just need to hold it in a little bit longer. So we hold it in and you hear the tone that turns it off. So the Explore 8 is, uh, has a number of similar features to the uh, Lucky 5, um, but it kind of presents it in a bit of a different package. So as we mentioned earlier, it's got some physical buttons along the front here. Um, that allows us to be able to change the magnification level and the different colour display settings. We've got our a uh, port here on the left hand side, the HD port and the HDMI port and the um, power button is on the left hand side as well. We have our camera uh, capture here. So to freeze an image uh, on the display is actually a separate one to the power button, which is another little difference between this one and the Lucky 5. And uh, the right hand side is nice and clear. It does have its own stand as well. This stand doesn't double up as a handle, um, but it can just fold up nice and easy um, for when we're bringing it along. So it has a similar sort of a, a profile, if you like, to maybe a, a mid-sized tablet uh, device, which is nice and easy. And a lot of people already bring that size of a device around in maybe a a, uh, a bag, a handbag or, or a case or some of some sort. So it's not too big to be bringing around. It's not quite pocket sized the way that the um, Lucky 4 is, but uh, both have their own advantages, obviously. Now, this one, when we open this up, when we open the uh, stand up at the back, it actually turns on automatically. So let's just uh, bring our settings back here. And uh, our main colour display here is uh, a very good, sharp one, clear image again, uh, very similar to the the Lucky 5 was a, a very good image as well. Now, obviously, with the bigger display, we're fitting an awful lot more text in on the, the image here. So that's that's quite a good thing in itself. It's a It's a very sharp image, as we mentioned. But again, if it's not big enough, we need to be able to magnify it. So... 
On the physical buttons along the bottom, there's three of them. On the right hand side, there's a plus button. But when we press it, we can just magnify in nice and easily. So when we're magnifying in, how far does it go? Well, if I just hold the magnification button, we actually get all the way up to 30 times magnification. So a, a very high degree of magnification. We can press the minus button on the left hand side just to reduce that back down a little bit as well. And it'll take it step by step if we just um, tap the button one at, one at a time here. It'll take it by increments of magnification as well. Now, as we did with the Lucky Plus or the Lucky 5, I should say, uh, this is basically, this is the colour um, setting at the moment. What if we want to have it in a high contrast setting for um, for reading? Well, that's the middle orange button here on the Explore 8. So let's tap that and you get into clear black on black and white, high contrast mode. Tap it again. We've got white on black and you can keep running through your different color settings that are in here as well. And that's very useful. Now, this one has just a reduced amount of uh, color settings that are available on it at the moment, but that's uh, that's fine as well. So that gives us a bit of a sense of that. Now, as we mentioned before, we also have our camera button on the top. So that's a separate one to the uh, power button and we can capture something there. And then we have that without having uh, the book directly underneath. We have that captured on the screen. We can press the button at the top here, uh, top left on screen to return back to a live image. Now that gives you a hint of something else that's on here. So while it has physical buttons, this device can also be controlled by touch screen. So we can pinch the uh, screen together as you can with many smart devices to magnify or reduce magnification. So we can pinch in or pinch out to be able to change the magnification levels. And that's very useful. So that gives a bit of a sense again of what uh, the Explore 8 can do. Very similar in terms of its main functions uh, to the Lucky 5. But actually, as you, you will have seen, how it implements those particular functions are a little bit different. And that's what you'll find with an awful lot of the different digital magnifiers, is that the way that they implement those different functions, even though the functions themselves might be quite similar to other ones on the market, it's always useful just to see which one suits you best for the needs that, that you have. So hopefully that gives a bit of a sense of digital magnifiers. If you do need any more support or to be able to arrange a demonstration of uh, any of these devices, please do contact your NCBI Labs uh, technology trainer in your region.